right right now we are going to do the charge discharge on a capacitor so if you see the connections uh, that uh, green clip is connected to other end uh, and uh, white and red uh, that is a counter and reference uh, which is connected in the other end uh, it works as a two electrode system for some cases that uh, when you have batteries uh, there that there is a possibility of that uh, charge reversal so in such cases you have to change that connection so that is at uh, where that green is connected in which that uh, that red and white has to be connected no? so whenever there is a what do you call that polarity change you may have to change it always you have to work with the positive polarity so that voltage should be positive and uh, yeah, the commercial capacitors will go in the negative side also but whereas in the batteries we have to restrict to that uh, the positive the charging uh, and discharging now what i am going to do is uh, i am first i will check that what is my open circuit potential i am clicking on the techniques huh? i am clicking on the open circuit potential versus time saying okay and it says that can i do it for 400 seconds huh? i say okay and running it huh? so it's a link filed i have some problem in my computer what i do is done it cannot find com port huh? so i'm i'm closing it so something is wrong in my thing so i'm closing it closing it completely so coming to close this also hmm? probably i might have opened that multiple things huh? so where can where can i get it computer c cooler so there are several softwares in your case there will be only one software you open the right one okay done now i say that set up hardware test okay everything is done So I am happy with that communication is on setup. Now I say that I wanted to go the technique. Huh? So technique, I say I select that open circuit potential versus time. Okay, for, can I do the OCP for 400 seconds? I say okay and run. Huh? Okay. Now since it's a, it's a stable, huh? I uh, the other thing is you will see a flat uh, signal. Huh? So in case that if there are if you, if you have some samples uh, which are reacting or changing, that potential will change. Huh? Since it's uh, just a capac commercial capacitor, huh? which is uh, uh, there will not be any change. Huh? You can able to see that uh, somewhere around 1.8 uh, volt. Huh? So whatever the changes in the third digit or fourth digit, huh? this is what we expect. I say okay. Now I say that I go for a data plate and see that. Somewhere around that 1.89 and 1.9. Hmm? So there is no change at all. Hmm? In case if you want to see further that what is happening, that we can do do it like this also. Hmm? Okay, fine. Hmm? Now I am happy with that. I know that it is 1.9 volt. Hmm? Now I want to take discharge it. So discharge means I have to have some idea. So I am going to a technique called chronopotentiometry. Chronopotentiometry. This technique will allow me to <coughs> decide that what is the charging rate so I can mention some milliampere or microampere something like that and at the same time it will ask me to what you call that uh, give some limits also huh? so first I will not go for that uh, current huh? so I know that 1.9 volt is see, my present thing I, let me charge it at 20% higher huh? so if I have a calculator let me calculate that where can I get the calculator here I go for here. So what I'll do is huh? calculator is there here. Calculator. Huh? So what I say is huh? I'll take that 1.9 multiply by 20 percent. Huh? Multiply multiply by 1.2. Huh? It comes to 20 percent of it. So I say that I can go up to 2.28 volt. Huh? So what I do is my hi higher limit is 2.28. Hmm? This is my best guess. So in your sample, take it from the OCP, you can able to do that some plus minus. Huh? Normally people try to do that 20% charging and 20% discharging. Hmm? 
So I, see, I do the calculator again. Where is my calculator? I have to type again. Calculator will be Now I have to discharge this. Hmm? So I say that 1.9 multiply by 0 0.8. So 20% I am charging, 20% empty. So my you know my lower limit is 1.52. So this is the gas I start that. So you have to do that. some plus or minus on your samples. Now let us come to the, what is the current. So I say that you do the charging and discharging between that 1.52 that discharge it and charging up to 2.28 volt. Number of segments, if I say that I say 10, then it means that 5 times charging and 5 times discharging. So you can go up to that 1000 cycle or 2000 cycles, so, as long as depending on the stability of your material. So, now I have to decide the what is the charging rate. So charging rate, how, how much, what is the capacity of this uh, capacitor? 1000 microfarad. 1000 microfarad. Uh, if I say that what you call that, uh, um, 10 microfarad. Mm -hmm. So I say that 1004. Zero, 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 if I say that uh, in, in 100, 100 steps, it will do that. No? Am I right? Mm -hmm. So if, if I, so it's a 1000 microfarad. No? Am I right? 1000 microfarad. No? Yes, it's 1000 microfarad. It's an amperes. So let us say that this charging rate is sufficient. Let it try that. No? So 1 zero, zero. So you have to do some hit and trial on your sample depending on the quantity of the material and capacity of it. No? So this says that time shifting, then means it will do 10, 10 second charging and 10 second discharging. Mm. If I do the potential, so it will shift as per the potential. It will charge up to the 2.28 volt and it will discharge up to 1.52 volts. Mm. So I say that okay, and I will say that start. Yeah, now it started doing it. I see that. Huh? Now it is discharging now. Huh? Discharging up to what is the limit? We gave it 1.5 to something like that. No? So it is going as per that. Uh, so <coughs> our plants, huh? so nearly that uh, some it, it took nearly that 30 40 seconds to do that. No? Yeah, now that uh, discharging has been done. So it could be able to see that limit of that 1.52 and it started doing the charging. Hmm? So if you want to have such a good result, don't do it on your sample, work on the commercial samples. You will be very happy to see have good results. Hmm? <laughs> now let us see what happens. Hmm? So this experiment will last nearly that uh, 100 seconds. 100 seconds means that uh, then it comes to the... Um, so 10... Uh, 1 cycle 100 seconds, huh? 10 cycle means it's around uh, 1000 seconds, 1000 seconds is 15 minutes, huh? so it's nearly that 15 minutes experiment, huh? and if you are getting bored we can stop in between also, huh? so what we can do is let us do that what you call that, let, let us complete that uh, time cycle, huh? Now we had, we have set a limit of 2.23. Let me see that uh, it is approaching to where it's at. 2.23. Uh, then it has to reverse back. Uh. 